So I've got a Polaris Racer 800 here for one of my friends that I'm gonna be doing some fixing and as you can see they've they've definitely been mutting with it but uh if it went the right now um I'm replacing the drive belt so I can move it around because uh instead of having to push it from hand and then I'll take it and get it washed off so uh, I just thought I'd take a little video for the drive belt replacement <coughs> excuse me um other than, other than that i just uh need some brakes replaced and oils changed and all that kind of stuff so anyway um i didn't think about taking a video till it was uh till i hit it this far but it's pretty simple you just take both seats out and uh and then there's this cover here a plastic shield that covers the back part here and then there's this bar, so this bar right here, uh, right, there's the knob where the seat clicks in, and there's another one over here for the passenger seat. So this bar just goes in there like that, and there's two bolts in there. Um, let's see, and I apologize, it's, so there's two bolts like this, one in each end of the bar to bolt it down. You have to take that bar loose. Um, I think it was 516s or something. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, no, it's more than that. I'm not sure. Whatever are you, uh, so you have to take this bar loose to be able to get the cover off. So, yeah, this thing, they, they broke a bell and it's like definitely all, you can, I mean, it just, it was all shredded. So, yeah, and then after taking the bar off, then you can take the cover off, and it's got all them 10 millimeter bolts around it. But, yeah, check that out. That little <laughs> pipe is filled with with shredded up build. I mean, it's just champed in there. It seemed like there was grease or oil or something in there. It's like probably been probably wet from when they were mudding or something so yeah and there's still part of the belt there but it's all the lower half of it's gone some parts of it there were well yeah check that out yeah it's just Yeah, the lower part is going in some places. It's pretty, it was bad. It's definitely shot. Clutches look like they could really use some cleaning. They're all as dirty as all get out. So I'll get some brake cleaner maybe and spray those down. Try to clean them up. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's that. So... Um, I got a new belt to put on there, so, and that's usually not too hard to just, I always put it over the primary clutch, which is that, or that one, and then over the secondary. Um, I'll take some brake, cl brake cleaner and try to clean the clutches up a little bit, and then I'll put the other belt back on and start putting it back together, so. Okay, so I cleaned them down a little bit, and I got this belt here. It's kind of um, a little bit dirty. Um, one of his friends had given it to him and said it should fit these also, so I didn't have to buy a new one. So, yeah, I just put it on the primary like that, and then on the secondary, and just twist it. There you go. And there she is. So now we're ready to put the cover back on. Um, put the cover back on. Put the bar back in place. This bar here that I was talking about. And your seat belts are strapped to this bar as well. Your seat belt buckles. So yeah, put the bar back on. Or the, the cover, the bar. And then that panel that goes on there. And then the seats. And that's it. Um, these are a little different from the 1000s, it's like the 1000s or the 900s, um, you get, you access the, the, 
built area from the site here. Um, but the 800s, the engine, the 800s, the engine is sitting in this way, and in the 1000s, it's sitting long ways with the machine engine and the transmission. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a different setup, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of on a way easier to access it actually. You don't have to be messing, taking the wheel off to get to it easier, or dealing around with the wheel and all that good stuff. So, anyway, that's that, and uh, hopefully this helps somebody. I'm sure there's already better videos out there, but oh well, I tried. Anyway, so, alright, that'll be it for now. God bless.